So today what I'm going to look into doing is some organic farming. I've heard great things online about releasing ladybugs in your garden to help keep down on aphids and other non-beneficial insects that might be eating up your plants. Since we are in a well water system and we're really big on being eco-friendly and as green as possible, we wanted to be sure that we use an alternative method to pesticide to keep all these pesky pests down, but also to make sure we don't poison ourselves when we go to drink water later down the road. And to be safe for the pets. So I looked into this place called Good Bug, and they have the Good Bug Diet, and they also send live ladybugs wherever you are. You can find them on Amazon. They had awesome reviews, and I wanted to be sure the ladybugs were being well taken care of. So I ordered 4,500 ladybugs. That's supposed to cover a few thousand square feet potentially up to an acre. We have, like I said before, almost 15 here, so I'm not sure it'll cover all of our acreage, but it'll definitely cover the greenhouse and the main areas where we have our peach trees and walnuts and all kinds of blackberry bushes, mustang grapes, everything you can think of. So, let's get started. First things first, Good Bug Diet. It's a food that you can spray on your plants or you can mix it in a watering can and water them. And it's full of, let's see here, Amino acids, sodium, calcium, phosphorus, fats, fiber, lactose, sucrose, all kinds of stuff that good bugs love. It'll attract any native ladybugs or other good bugs to it. And it'll also keep your ladybugs from flying off right away. Mitzi's very excited about this. Um, so what it says to do is to take half a cup of the food powder, put it in with one cup of warm water and a teaspoon of sugar, tablespoon, excuse me, of sugar, to make a paste and you can kind of paint that onto your plants. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dilute it into a gallon of water and I'm just gonna pour it on my plants and sprinkle it around because painting everything out here with the paste is just not gonna happen. All right, I put in one tablespoon of sugar. Now I'm adding half a cup of the food. One of the cats kind of got into it, so this will test out if it's safe. Read the ingredients, should be totally fine, but she did not seem to like it. Okay, so it's been about maybe a week and a half or two weeks since I planted my garden. All the plants are doing great. Now I have my good bug diet. I'm gonna sprinkle it on the plants real quick and we're gonna see what happens. I forgot to mention I bought a ladybug house. You can buy one of these online for really cheap. I think I paid $10 for this on Amazon. You can probably build it even cheaper. Um, it's basically just a wood block that's hollow on the inside. It's got some slats on the sides. They're also called insect houses. You can get them for bees as well. I chose not to get one that includes bees because I don't want bees in my greenhouse while I'm gardening. We're gonna open a beehive open it like it's a hotel, but we're going to start a beehive further out on the property a couple acres back, and we do plan to eventually make our own honey. Well, get our own honey from the bees. Um, save the bees and all that. So I am going to find a super cute place to put this up. The instructions said to release the ladybugs at dusk, so that's what we're going to do. There's a lot of them in there. Check it out. Oh, here they come. Lulu, Lulu, don't eat the ladybugs. 
instructions said to sprinkle them on the bottoms of plants and they would climb up, but they started coming out of the bag so fast um, to keep them from crawling all over me, I just set it down. Some of them are falling on the ground, but they seem to all be finding their ways to the plants. I'd like to release some on the other side of the room. Okay, I was able to relocate the bag to this side of the greenhouse, and they're still coming out and finding their way onto the plants. They really seem to like that bug food. Everywhere it's wet, where I just watered with it, they're swarming. So, my plan is that if I release all the ladybugs in the open greenhouse, they will make their way out to the trees that I also watered with the good bug diet, and the berry bushes just outside this window, and that grass is not supposed to be that tall, we're going to mow it pretty soon, but hopefully they'll keep coming back, and hopefully they like the ladybug hotel. They should be able to reach it, I've seen them climbing up the windows.